战争对有些人来说，对平民来说，他太残酷了，他杀了你的亲人，他毁了你的家园。但对一些热衷军火的人来说，他是最好的武器实验的地点。这一次的以哈战争里头最重要的新型武器是什么？是镭射武器，首次进入人类的战场。什么叫做镭射武器呢？拥有这个武器的主要是美国、中国、俄罗斯，而以色列呢，在美国的 Lockheed 扶植之下，最后也取得了这个武器。在这次它用在以哈的战争当中，为大家来报道什么叫做镭射反导武器。这是以哈战争刚开始时的场景。哈马斯在十月七号发动的阿克萨洪水行动中，二十分钟内从加沙向以色列发射了超过五千枚火箭弹，以军用铁穹防空系统拦截，但在极短的时间内就耗尽了弹药。嗯以色列多个城市在十月七号当天陷入火海。哈马斯的饱和式攻击打破这个号称金钟罩铁布衫、全球最优秀的防空系统。That's one of the batteries that makes up this system. This technology was developed by Israel, and the way it works is that when a rocket is fired from Gaza, that battery right there launches another missile that crashes mid-air, making sure the people in this country stay safe. As of 2021, the defense system had intercepted over 2,400 rockets bound for civilian areas since its launch in 2011. 但这回铁穹彻底崩了。This couple was home when the rocket hit. What has the rocket barrage been like? They say the missiles come like rain. The last about 10 days, Hamas has launched over 6,500 rockets. 6,500. Over 6,500 rockets in 10 days. We would have thousands of casualties, unbelievable destruction, injuries, and we would be living in a very different reality. Hamas can't match Israel's firepower, but training videos published online show they are stocked with rockets. And in 2020, this video shows them digging up pipes to convert them into projectiles. Israel says the Iron Dome is 90% effective, but during the attacks on October 7th, Hamas overwhelmed the system. 而战事刚开始三天，铁穹就弹药告罄，以色列紧急向美国请求支援，但也确实扛不住火箭弹的饱和式攻击，且一枚铁穹拦截弹造价高达五万美元，哈马斯卡上火箭一枚才八百块，这仗再这样打下去，财政肯定出问题。于是，一款能在研发中，预计二零二五年才要服役的镭射防空系统铁树，准备提前上阵。This laser weapon can strike targets such as drones, rockets, and mortars, and can do so for a fraction of the price of other missile-powered defense systems. The Iron Beam is an experimental project built by Israel. It could be used in conjunction with the Iron Dome, which launches rockets and is considered one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world. The laser of Rafael is a strategic threat to the Israel and the world. We could intercept. And destroy strategic ballistic missiles before they reached our own soil or that of our allies. 事实上，镭射武器并非新科技。一九八三年的美苏冷战时期，时任美国总统雷根提出的星战计划，就有在太空部署镭射武器摧毁敌人飞弹的构想。但此后十年间砸了三百亿美金，却没搞出个什么名堂来，倒是用这场军备竞赛搞垮了苏联。如今，这场镭射武器的竞赛又卷土重来。The Defense Department has spent over a billion dollars annually to develop direct energy weapons, lasers, and microwave weapons. In other words, in July 2023, the U.S. Army awarded a contract worth $221 million to Lockheed Martin to develop a high-energy laser system designed to defend against aerial threats. Lasers have been used by the military since the Cold War. Most lasers have been used for targeting or illumination. Illumination can be used with some sensors, such as night vision, to point out enemy locations. Laser designation creates a laser reflection on a point that a bomber missile can hone in on. But now lasers can take out rockets and drones. 
By focusing kilowatts of power on a precise point, lasers can overheat, redirect, destroy, and damage targets causing them to be ineffective. Recent advances in drone and cruise missile technology have made the ability to cheaply intercept these small targets more important. 俄罗斯与中国都宣称已研发出镭射武器，但从未投入实战。美国的海陆空三军也都委托军工企业研发自己的镭射武器，却因功率无法达到预期击杀的效果，至今没有一款武器正式服役。而以色列军工巨头拉斐尔所研制的铁术，早在2014年新加坡航展上首次亮相，但也是因为镭射功率不够强，多年来都没有投入使用。直到与美国洛克希德马丁合作后，才取得突破。Directed energy weapons like iron beam come in two forms. Typically, that's high power microwave HPM and high energy laser HEL. HEL basically just focuses a beam or beams of energy to cut, melt, inflict heat damage on whatever target you want. But because it takes time to inflict that damage, it does have some issues with you know you have to stay on target, you have to maintain that. But it doesn't need a manual reload like a rifle or a tank. You can just Just rely on power, and that's referred to as unlimited magazine depth. Israeli officials say the laser gun fires a beam that uses 100 kilowatts of power. That's around 100 times the typical electrical power that a household in the U.S. uses. 铁术与铁穹四柱铜门都是拉斐尔所研制。相比平均一次拦截要五万美元的铁穹，铁术每次拦截的成本只要两美元。There are two advantages. One, the cost per kill, the recovery is low. And the second is that there is no ammunition. You save all this、uh, train of、uh, production and logistics. Rubin 曾主导以色列的飞弹防御计划。他认为，尽管铁树有这么多优点，但仍有许多技术上的问题需要克服。This is not a silver bullet, as it sounds. It is a bit. One is a short range, the other is a sensitivity to weather, and the third is a low kill rate. Let's start with the weather. The issue is that the system sensors can be hampered in rainy and cloudy conditions. That means the iron beam may not be operational in Israel in colder months such as November and December, according to Rubin. Another vulnerability is said to be the range. The beam loses power as it travels through the air, making its impact on the target less powerful. It's known as the bloom effect. When it hits the air, it starts blooming. The, 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 the beam widens up, and after a while, it's so diluted that it doesn't have an effect. And then there's the speed at which it can take down objects. The period of dwell time before the laser damages its target makes it slower than the Iron Dome. If you push the button, your beam touches the rocket at the speed of light. But then it has to keep pumping energy into the rocket until it melts or explodes or something. That process could take a few seconds and hamper its ability to combat multiple incoming rockets, Rubin says. Here's a video released by Israel's defense forces last year, showing a successful test of the iron beam. Now the iron beam system is not operational yet, so it's expected to be operational later this year or early next year. So it's not yet being used、uh, in the、uh, Israel-Hamas conflict right now. But it's expected to be or planned to be a 100 kilowatt laser, which is about the minimum size you need in order to be able to shoot down a rocket or a missile. 铁穹在这场以哈战争中以布鲁堡核式攻击下的缺失。且有杀鸡焉用牛刀的经济效益问题，铁树此时赶鸭子上架也是情势所逼，而战争永远是最好的练兵场，这也将成为人类史上首次将镭射武器投入实战。